and welcome back to my channel my name is Yvonne and this is Sticky Mess 17 my channel is all about cleaning information inspiration and motivation so if you're interested please like and subscribe to and there's a notification bell so you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday at 10 a.m. when I upload a new video I am really swollen because I am a brain injury survivor all caused by a cough we made which made three cysts on my brain rupture go me and that was four months ago now so hopefully this will be going down my hair is growing in all sorts of weird directions it's starting to curl as well oh, sorry anyway that's enough rambling if you're interested please like and subscribe and if you're new here welcome I post every Wednesday and Sunday like I said um, cleaning information inspiration and motivation and also if you wish to find out more about my brain injury and my progression and recovery there is a playlist that I'll have linked in the description box down below. And with all of that said, let's jump straight into it. start today with some nice chilling music and just so you can get on and chill and just fold your laundry with me now I'm being really lazy and just sitting on the bed while doing it and yes I am watching the television and like I said my quilt is in the wash my duvet cover because my lovely chilly billy boo who's sitting next to me now decided to clean his muddy footprints muddy paws all over my nice white clean bed so that's in the washing machine at the moment but I've got other bedding to fold and a basket of darks like I said I do one load a day put it away but unfortunately when I've got to wash the beds or towels there's obviously more than one load and as I say one basket is one load in my machine so I just do the baskets as they fill up and I just wash them as they go and as they come out the dryer or off from outside dry at the moment because it's absolutely tipping it down and I haven't got the strength to carry and stand outside and hang laundry at the moment so everything's been tumble dried a waste of the summer sun but hey ho and then I just fold everything and put it away so come and fold your washing with me video over a couple of days so you will see a couple of costumes <laughs> clothes changes and you will see my me and my Sunday best towards the end of the video I love my onesie so please um don't be offended by my onesie but it's I'm really struggling to get clothes that actually fit me at the moment so I have actually gone down to Primarni you know which one I'm on about and just got some basic clothes just to tide me over because I know this is going to all come off eventually so there's no point in buying a new wardrobe for the swelling just to go down look after your brains guys you don't know how much so-called fun I've been through in the last four months it is crazy <laughs>
you've been with me for the last few videos, you'll know that I've just had to put my grey bird down. Um, he's been really, really sick. And he was the cat that was always under my feet. Now, Chili, my white cat, who's nicely <laughs> cleaned his muddy paws on my white duvet cover. Uh, bless him. He is the one that goes away for weeks on end. And don't get me wrong, he's only at the end of the road or the other estate. But since I've been out of hospital, which has been coming up for two and a half months now, I think, three months, um, he hasn't left my side. And it is really, really weird to see. He Generally, when the weather's lovely, he just goes. And if it rains, he'll come home. Um, or it gets cold. And my daughter ended up getting sick over the weekend. And she's still sick now. She's been diagnosed with just croup. So it's got to obviously run its course. And it's so weird because now he is literally by her side so now we're calling him dr boo because it's just so weird how the animals know how you know how you need the attention and the, the care and that and he's trying so hard and he, he even holds her hand it's so sweet anyway getting back to the laundry um but firstly uh let me know whether your animals can sense and what they've done let me know in the comments down below what sort of care treatment if you want to call it that your animals have given to you um getting back to the laundry now sorry my brain's just trying to process do you fold your laundry every day or are you one of these that just throw it in the drawer and iron it as you need it or how do you do your laundry as i say my rule of thumb is one load a day and put it away and as you'll see in a second i have now got these um hanging racks we've got rid of our wardrobe so i've got access to the bedroom we've got spare hangers on the side there by my dressing gown which is nicely taken up three quarter uh, third of the shot um and then i just put everything on hangers and on this hook so that i can steam them and then put them away tell you what i'm still absolutely loving this these um I, what are they called suspension wardrobes or something but yeah they're all brilliant and i absolutely love them they've so we've got like three wardrobes worth on these three rails and it's really a space saver cannot fault them and they are linked in my description box all as i said right at the beginning of my um, video there is a disclaimer that anything that is linked uh, on my website or down below is an affiliate link which means i may make a commission but it's at absolutely no cost to you 90 percent of the stuff in my house is off amazon yes i am a through and through amazon hit addict and i might actually do a video on what I've bought and my sort of Amazon favorites and what I really approve of what I don't because I'm just about to do the kitchen um, drawers again because the drawer organization that I put in there is just not working for me so I'm going to try a different method but if it, this doesn't work then it, I've got some other containers that I can use somewhere else in the house anyway that's enough rambling I'm now steaming the clothes with my Philips Elite Sonicare no it's not a Sonicare because that's a toothbrush um, it's a Philips Elite steam generator iron. I've had this for about three years now. So easy to descale and really, really quick with the ironing. I hate ironing, but just as you see in there, quick steam over and the creases are gone. forget guys when i hit a thousand subscribers i will be giving a 50 pound amazon voucher away as well as when i get to 2000 subscribers i'll be shaving my head and donating the proceeds to the wales air ambulance and my hair to the little princess trust so you subscribing is making a huge impact and helping these charities at absolutely no cost to yourselves so guys please don't forget to subscribe hit the like button share my videos and let's build this community together thank you to everybody who is here already for your support you don't know how much it means to me i've actually got goosebumps saying this but thank you so much it's like magic won't forget this for the rest of my life
let me know down in the comments below if you what sort of videos you want me to film um, obviously I do cleaning information inspiration and motivation but if you'd like me to do some hacks video or I'm gonna thinking of doing an Amazon video on stuff that I've bought over the course of this year and stuff that I really really like what I don't like as I said earlier so let me know anything that you would like to see in my videos coming up My air fryers, I absolutely love them. Yes, I have got two. Um, and yes, you can actually feed probably about a family of four or five using one of them. But I've got the rotisserie one and I've got the other air fryer. So I generally have like chips or roast chicken or something on the one and then the vegetables or whatever. And the other one go in and it is uh, so much cheaper than running the oven and preheating the oven and so much quicker because you can probably take a good third, maybe more of the time off your cooking time. Now what I'm doing is I'm just going to empty off the drying rack. I've got the over the sink drying rack. Absolutely love it. Matt's not too happy about it because he says there's less vapes. But if you didn't unpack the dishwasher and stick it all on the drying rack, then t trust me, there is plenty of space. And it's just it frees up so much counter space and sink space. And I really like your kit. Now I need to, as you can see, I've got loads of dishes on the side and in the sink. So I'm going to... Um, fill the dishwasher and I'm also trying to give my cat a few extra calories so they've both been fed with some wet food which they're absolutely loving at the moment just the whiskers not sponsored um just to give her a few extra calories because she's 300 grams underweight and they as I say they're absolutely loving it and <laughs> she rattles her tail and billy boo basically it sounds like he says please because you say do you want some he goes meow anyway I'm a cat nut I'm a crazy cat lady I love my cats what else can I say? I'm buzzing, let's drink up your death look like big fun. Come on, let's get it on like that one fin gay song. I'm something you love it. Come on, give me something. I know that you want it. Come on, give me something. The night is young and so are we. So maybe you should leave with me. The night is young and so are we. So I've got too many dishes today so I'm just going to put all the heavy stuff, the ceramics and the bowls and that at the bottom and all the lighter stuff as in the plastics on the top so they don't blow around with the heat and everything can get clean. Now I've had to organise my plates in the dishwasher because they are two different styles, they're all white and they're all from Argos as a starter kit um but some of them are slightly thicker than the others so the thinner ones need to be in the front and the thicker ones at the back otherwise they actually touch each other in the dishwasher and then they don't wash properly just a little hack if you have problems stacking your plates As you can see, my scrub daddy sponges are on the top there. They're going to go through the dishwasher with the others because you can put them in the dishwasher to get washed out and sanitized, which is what I do on every run. I just stick them in the dishwasher and I've just noticed how long my hair is getting. And that's because I always tie my hair up. I don't notice it. It literally gets washed straight up in a ponytail bun thingy. And yeah, so I don't notice how long my hair is getting. And don't forget, I'm going to shave my head when I get to 2000 subscribers and donate the proceeds of the video to the Wales Air Ambulance, as well as my hair to the little princess trust i did shave my head um january 18 and that was really nice having really short hair but very cold so i'm to do it in winter <laughs>
go. Since my brain injury, I am really getting stronger literally every single day. I'm a little bit stronger. And I've said since the day I came out of hospital, even if it's 0.1%, uh, I tell you what, that 0.1% of recovery is just adding up really nicely and I am actually getting there. Now, as you know, my dishwasher is now full and I really can't be bothered to set off another load and I'm sending them in to wash dishes. So I'm going to wash my dishes and put them on the drying rack. <laughs> I'll be honest, one of the chores that I absolutely hate doing is washing out bottles, but I do find it very therapeutic doing it, but I still absolutely hate washing out bottles, and hence the reason that they have really stacked up. So I need to wash out the bottles, and um, yeah, I'm just going to use a bit of fairy liquid and the three different bottle brushes there, and get them clean and out the way. Now, if you want to clean out a bottle like this with a small neck two things you can do is if there's bubbles in it use cold water to rinse out the bubbles you'll see me leave it with a cold water running because cold water for some reason like breaks up the bubbles if also if you put too many bubbles in your bath <laughs> like when do we get time for a bath um, and the other thing is when you're emptying the water bottle spin the bottle around so you get like a centrifugal force and that will force the water out a bit quicker so now i'm just going to wipe the counter whilst the cold water is running in the bottle and you can see the bubbles lifting up and all done now i'm going to rinse it out spinning it around and then it just like makes like a little tornado in the bottle and lets the water obviously get air in so you can empty the bottle back easier better whatever now i'm just going to wipe down the rest of the counters i'm going to put my bry salt away that i bought oh i love it and just wipe down my air fryers the outside it was amazing how much dust they attract even though they use virtually every single day and they get wiped down every single day and yeah that's pretty much it then i'm going to move on to my daughter's room and get dressed
as I said, my daughter's been quite sick over the weekend. So she's been eating breakfast in bed and I don't really care because I had to change her bed anyway. But obviously all the crumbs that were on her bed have ended up on the floor. Um, so I'm so grateful that now I'm slightly stronger and I'm able to just use the Dyson. So Matt is going to bring the Dyson V10 up, not sponsored. And I'm just going to run the vacuum over the floor and pick up the bits. I could you put Sally upstairs. She's my robot vacuum, but... She's actually running around downstairs at the moment. So I'm just going to run the vacuum cleaner over just as a quick once over. Well, that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate your time and spending your social media credit watching my videos i at time of recording this i'm 698 subscribers i wonder if i can hit a thousand by christmas that is my goal so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe um, if you wish to support my channel for free you can watch another video um, turn on those notification bells so you're notified when i upload a new video which is generally wednesdays and Sundays at 10 a.m. I also have a BSL playlist, which is all the level one syllabus. Unfortunately, I got sick with my brain injury, so I've had to put that on hold for the moment, but the playlist is um, on my channel. Have a look at the playlist, and I'll also link it down below. Um, and any support that I do get is obviously really appreciated, be it via monetary or by just subscribing and watching another video. Thank you so much. Um, but there's also two ways you and two other ways you can support my channel. You can buy me a coffee. My Ko-Fi account is linked down below and my hands are doing all sorts of weird and wonderful things, sorry. Um, or you can head over to my Patreon for some exclusive content. It is cleaning content and um, at the moment, the cleaning content is just my videos going up about two days prior to what they are on YouTube with a few extra bits and bobs in it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Look after yourselves, look after your family, take care and look after your brain so you don't end up looking like a blowfish. Take care guys, see you next time, bye.